Hey guys, uh, welcome once again. I just watched uh, Bloodsucking Freaks on Netflix Instant Play for a number of reasons. It's been on there forever. Uh, I just saw YouTube user Phantasm, aka Michael King. He just did like a review of it, so it's been, you know, on on my mind, I guess, a little bit. And it's a movie that I heard about when I was a like a kid when I was really young, like I remember my uncle talking about this movie blood sucking freaks where like they were like torturing women and stuff. And like, they took this one girl. I don't even, yeah. Yeah. And then they like drilled, uh, <laughs> drilled a hole in her head and stuck a straw in it and sucked blood out. So I always, I always remembered that. And I remember thinking like, Oh, well, this must be the ultimate horror movie. I've got to see it. So tonight I finally saw it. I was barely able to make it through it. I was, I wanted to turn it off like 20 minutes into it. So Blood, Blood Sucking Freaks is like a 1970s exploitation flick about a torture show like in a bad neighborhood somewhere in New York, I think. But it's supposed to be fake, you know, so you go see, like, this fake torture show, except it's really real. And the guy that runs it, the Master Sardou, is, like, into slavery, like, like he's slave trading women and stuff and torturing them in this show. And they're always, I don't think women wear any clothes in this movie, really, at all, almost. They're always naked. I mean, I, I, that might be a plus for you, I guess. You know, I like naked women, but come on. I mean, this this movie, I would have to agree with Phantasm, who just, like I said, just reviewed this, that it's total garbage. It's terrible. It was a total waste of time. Um, you know, I would agree with him that it's exploitative of women, no question about it, and degrading to women. And... That there's no plot and it just sucks, whatever, in general. But I wouldn't agree with him that it's gory, because it's, it's really not gory. Like, it's like this controversial cult movie that's, you know, kind of made a name for itself. I think maybe people get the impression that it's gory just because of the things that are suggested to be done. And the fact that the film is just ugly and, once again, degrading to women. Because none of the gore happens on screen because I don't think they had the budget to put the gore on screen. It's like, for example, they'll be taking some girl's, like, pulling her teeth out. And all you see is the guy's hand like this. And all of a sudden, I got a tooth! You know? You don't see it happen and, like, she spits blood out. Or <laughs> there was one where, like, they keep these girls in a cage so they're like basically become feral and they're starving them and stuff and like they'll throw people into there sometimes for the girls and like they're like eating this one guy this guy's wearing like a button-down shirt and this girl reaches in you can see her just reaching by the side of it <laughs> like just on the side of his shirt and pulling out some like probably some animals organ or something it's just none of the gore really happens on screen what is there is usually like the after effects of it like you'll see an eyeball or something and none of it looks real at all like if you see something like you know hostile nowadays in other movies some other horror movies when they're not doing cgi the makeup stuff is really well done and believable and at least like in the 80s on a lot of horror movies it was at least fun or cool looking but here it's just terrible man like i could do it better right here on this webcam without editing so if that's like your main attraction is to see gore you're gonna be disappointed so it's not that the movie gross me out or yeah it, i think it's kind of offensive it's just torturing of women for an hour and a half there's not much redeeming quality there. You know, it's only redeeming quality is probably as like a artifact of film history 
but even then it should have probably been forgotten. I don't know. There's probably people that like it. I don't know why you would like it. There's nothing... The plot is basically, you know, so they're doing these torture shows. <laughs> and they, the guy that runs it, the Master Sardu guy, kidnaps a critic and forces him to watch his shows so that he'll write a good review or something. And then he, like, also kidnaps a ballerina to give legitimacy to what he's doing, like, Maybe there's some message in there about how you have to do crappy horror movies to get to do, like, real stuff. But honestly, that's probably looking too much into it. Like, it tries to have some sort of substance on that issue, but pfft, nope. Um, I wanted to turn it off, like, halfway through it. It almost felt like I was watching it as, like, a homework assignment for here to, like, have something to post tonight. You know, that's it. And then, like, the ballerina's boyfriend tries to track her down with this crooked cop who is also just, you know, there's enough ugliness and creeps in this movie. Why does the cop have to be crooked? And he's just super creepy. He's, like, trying to save these girls in the cage to, like, grabbing at him. And he's like, oh, there's time for that later. Really, I mean... You know, there's people that might think, oh, this is a good movie to watch with your buddies when you're all fucked up, man. Like, there's a bunch of naked chicks, dude, and gore or whatever. And I don't know if I always get that point. Like, you know what I think is a good movie to watch when you're, like, fucked up? A good movie. Something that's funny. Something that's scary. That's entertaining. This is none of the above. It's not scary at all. It's not entertaining. I wanted, like, I, I was just bored. I was, like, forcing myself to sit through it. Very poorly put together. Like, it looks like it was shot with a home video camera from the 70s, which is when it was made. Terrible lighting. The gore effects are non-existent. And I get that, you know, there's an audience for, like, campy, crappy B-movies, and I, I'm sometimes that audience. Sometimes I just want a stupid movie like that, but... As I said, this is not... Yes, it's a B-movie. It's a C-movie. It's a freaking... It's a D-movie. But it's not entertaining in any, any way. It, it, I'll give it credit for it tries to be a little bit campy and throw in some humor there. I did, like, I did chuckle once or twice because there's, like, this Master Sardu's assistant is this, like, little black midget guy. <laughs> like, you know, I'll admit I laughed, like, at him. Like, he throws the girls in the cage. He, like, dances, like, ha, 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 ha. Or he, he, like, when he kidnaps the ballerina, he, like, pops out of a, a locker, like, her locker. Like, ha, ha. So I'll give it credit for, like, trying to have maybe something somewhere in there to say and but at the same time not taking itself seriously like it tries to go for humor but like i said i chuckled maybe once or twice it wasn't it didn't make it worth sitting through at all i mean unless you're just trying to expand your film knowledge and want to know about a cult classic quote unquote there's no reason to watch this. Even if you're a big fan of horror movies, no, no reason to watch it at all. Zero stars for blood-sucking freaks.